been a lot of talk about globally, internationally, about HIV AIDS and the impact it has on our communities. But quite often we live in divorced, we're divorced pretty much from the reality of it. And as you actually work in the field, know somebody who in fact has been impacted, the, the reality and the message of it all doesn't come through to you in an emotional, dramatically emotional way, as perhaps it did in my time here in Guyana, where a member of our team actually has a mother who who has the virus. And for me, it's just the emotional impact on this young man, his life, her life, the society's response to him, to her. And it was very sort of heart-wrenching in a way just to hear him tell his story. But his story could in many ways be our story just as easily. So the work that I've become involved in here has pretty much taken on a sort of new significance, um, a new meaning, a new thrust. And one really needs to say that I was really moved. And I always say that for one to try and effect change, one needs to use emotional roots emotional strategies and that was really reinforced for me at this workshop not so much by what was said but by this young man and his story there are some of the comments one had for example to our first uh, first airing of what may be our first episode in this project a lot of people live outside other people's realities and quite often we have to forget sometimes the safety of our reality and open ourselves to other people's realities, harsh, cruel, brutal, the realities of young women, young boys, young people in our communities, often driven by harsh economic needs often driven by a sort of hopelessness, often driven by a lack of concern by the society itself. And in many ways we have to focus on their lives, their hopelessness, and somehow try and find a way to take them from negative to positive with the sorts of messages, messages of hope, of renewal, of courage, um, letting them realize that the mind is the most incredible instrument, I think, created by our maker. And there's a magic and a pleasure and a joy that can be experienced through the mind. And we need to make every effort to make sure that young people, for one, can access their imagination, access the potential that rests and lies within them. And so coping with this, trying to find mechanisms to cope with this disease is, I think, has to run in tandem with trying to find mechanisms to help young people towards, and people in general, towards a better life. Um, assuring them of better avenues to live, to work, to play, to dream, in fact. Because without dreams, there really is little life. The workshop itself, uh, the mechanics of it, was interesting, very interesting. And I think the young people here, that their lives will be impacted in so many ways. And they will leave this, I think they have left this workshop in many ways changed. Um, they're, they're visualizing new images of self new awareness. I think the workshop opened windows to them. Not just windows of opportunity, but windows to their own lives and to their own possibilities. Thank you.